before we keep going with this clean with me, I want to show you guys what I got at the grocery store. I didn't do a full order, but I got quite a bit of stuff, as you guys can see. There is no rhyme or reason on how I place this. I just threw it on the counter. Show you guys real quick before I put it back in the fridge. So I got three dozen eggs. We are a family of six. We eat a lot of eggs. I got some green cabbage. We'll probably be doing like some, what are those called? Cabbage rolls with that. I also got two things of blackberries. My kids love berries and making fruit salads with them. I also got some cream cheese to go on the bagels over here that I ended up getting. Um, I also got some raspberries, so that goes really, really well with the blackberries for fruit for the kids also. I got this borsum cheese in two different kinds. That'll be really nice for an appetizer for tomorrow uh, for Thanksgiving, which I also got these two little packages of crackers to go with it. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got these, this um, prime rib roast, huge roast. It was on sale, it was a great deal, like $4 a pound, which was great. I also got these two things of hummus. This salsa verde hummus, I've never tried, but I'm super excited to try it. And then I got our traditional uh, roasted garlic hummus as well. Also got this huge big bag of green beans. I forgot my <laughs> reusable bags at home when I went grocery shopping. So some of this stuff is packaged when I don't want it to be, but hey, we can only do what, what we can do. So I got a ton of green beans for our Thanksgiving dinner. I also got these, which are not healthy by any means, but the boys love these. These are the S'mores Ritz crackers. So I got one package, because we haven't seen them in a while. I also got this Smart Pasta. Uh, it's like pasta with fiber and like more nutrients, I guess. So I got some pasta, because we were kind of low. I also got six avocados, which are not ripe, but it's okay, I've got six more in the fridge. So we'll let these ripen for a while. I got these cheese sticks that they really, really like. Uh, just some irregular mozzarella cheese. And we'll probably do like a baked pasta with um, this ragu sauce. So the cheese will come in handy. I also got some beef steak tomatoes. These are huge. They're super in season right now. I also got some bananas because they go through a ton of bananas. And what's great about bananas is that they're cheap. And then if they start going bad or like they're overripe then I can just freeze them or make muffins. I also got two things of mushrooms. It's two pounds of mushrooms which we like for various things. I also got some peppers which we also really really like. I have found when grocery shopping to keep your food cost on a budget or really really low especially when you have a lot of kids is to buy fruit and vegetables when they're in season. Things like these tomatoes are really, really cheap at this time of year. So are onions and potatoes. So there's a 10 pound bag of white potato, which we're gonna use for our Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. But then we'll also have some leftover. This was $1.98 a pound, which, yeah, sorry. This was $1.98 for the 10 pound bag. So that's really crazy. And there's a 10 pound bag of um, uh, onions as well. And these were also $1.98 a pound. No. They were $1.98 for the whole 10 pound bag. So I definitely think that keeping food costs low is super good when you can get all of these fruit and vegetables on a budget and when you can get them seasonally as well. We also have this uh, sour cream. It's just the original sour cream. We like tacos and nachos. So that will be good for that. I also got some bread. This is the boys' favorite bread for uh, French toast or sandwiches. I also got two packages of bacon because I ended up price matching these and getting two for the price of one, which is great. Uh, I already said that. These, again, look how beautiful and huge this cauliflower is. These were on sale for a dollar, so such a great deal. And then the broccolis are on sale for 87 cents, so those are also a great deal. And then these were on sale for 67 cents a pound for the sweet potato. We are going to start um, feeding Everly solids really, really soon. So these will be great with that. They'll also be great for sweet potato fries for us. I also got some asparagus because that was a really good price as well. Some cucumber because we eat those in salads or just to snack on. I also got some Brussels sprouts because those are in season as well. Once again, I forgot my reusable plastic bags or my, my reusable produce bags. So that's what we're using. And then we also have strawberries. At my grocery store, you cannot buy berries that aren't packaged in this plastic, but we do recycle these which is good because we do have a lot of plastic. We are trying to be a little bit more minimal, but you just can't get these. And my kids absolutely love strawberries. So things like 
the cauliflower, the broccoli, the asparagus, um, sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, those are all super in season right now as well. So it just depends on what time of year what we're getting. I was actually talking to my hairdresser uh, the other day when I was getting my hair done and she was like, well, what if they don't have what you're looking for? And I said, I just don't buy it. Like having a family of six, uh, being frugal, being on a one income family, being on a budget, we just budget and like we have a ton of really really good nutritious food here as well so I just go on Pinterest kind of meal plan accordingly to what is on sale that week and this should pretty much last us the week uh, like I said I also have three packages of bagels here and I also have these um, triple baked Casa Mendoza uh, spinach tortillas so we're probably going to use those for wraps or chicken Caesar wraps or tacos or anything like that burritos I'm excited to try those and then I also got these for a little snack again they're not healthy but they're also like they're just a quick on the go easy thing for the kids and they really like them so this is basically what I ended up getting for groceries this should last the majority of the week I didn't do a lot of meat because we are doing our turkey oh yeah I want to show you guys we are doing our turkey and our ham tomorrow Ooh, that water is cold so we got our turkey here we've got our ham there just defrosting so we're doing those tomorrow, we'll probably have tons of extras, so maybe I'll do like some type of recipes with that afterwards. And then we also have this great big prime rib, which we could cut up or make a bunch of meals with. And then we also have food in the fridge as well. So now that we have our groceries, I'm going to go right ahead and get inside the fridge and pull anything out that might be expired, no longer good, things that got tucked away and hidden behind the fridge. Uh, sometimes we forget about food. I find especially when your fridge is not super organized, uh, there's a lot more food waste this way. I'm also going to go ahead and wipe it all down. I use an all-purpose cleaner or just some soap and water just to get some of the spills and crumbs or stickiness or anything that might have been left behind. I do not do a deep clean of my fridge every single time I do groceries because we are in the grocery store maybe once or twice a week. I typically like to keep my deep clean for maybe once a month or so where I really pull everything out, pull the drawers out as well. I do have a video here on my channel that I posted a while back on my deep cleaning, so I will link that up above if you guys want to check it out. I also take the habit of washing all my fruit and putting them into these glass storage containers, just making it ready, accessible for the kids when they want a healthy snack. And on this specific day, I wasn't planning on going to the grocery store and I forgot my reusable grocery bags at home. So unfortunately, I did have to use the single use plastic, but I always keep the bags that are not torn or ripped or did not have raw meat inside. Then we can reuse them for trash or anything that we need to put inside these. So like I said, I do like to keep them. I do feel bad um forgetting them in the first place but sometimes you just don't have a choice you kind of have to make do and now i'm just sorting through um things that were in the fridge that are no longer good things that we forgot about i find when our fridge is unorganized we definitely waste a lot more food so that again is a thing that i hate i don't like wasting food especially we're paying for it and people are making it so it's unfortunate but sometimes there's going to be a little bit of food waste. So once I'm done all of the fridge, I'm just gonna quickly wash up all of these dishes that are sitting in my sink. Dishes is something that we just have to get done every day. You guys see it a lot here on my channel, but it's just real life. I'd like to take you guys along, really show you guys the aspects of motherhood and real life, and this is just a part of it.
And by this point, my little ones are napping. I had a shower, threw my hair up, put something a little bit more comfortable on as a top to finish up this cleaning and cooking. I find that if I'm more comfortable, it's a lot easier for me to move around and get things done. And I don't wanna ruin nice shirts while I'm cooking and cleaning. So I'm just scrubbing down our dining room table. This is definitely our multi-use space. Our kids will color, play Play-Doh, do all kinds of crafting on here. It's a really nice, a hardwood pine table. It's really great um, rustic look and it's also good for wear and tear. So you'll see me scrubbing things along because there might be some Play-Doh stuck to it or some marker or anything like that. And when you're hosting a meal, you always want your space to look nice and clean and fresh. So I'm just going ahead to do that. And then I'm using my Dyson V8 as well to clean the floors underneath it. Like I said, we spent a lot of time here and the kids are pretty messy whether they're eating or playing with something. So I'm just going ahead and vacuuming it all up. As you guys can see, my husband just walked in. He was outside in the yard starting a fire in the back pit so that once our company comes over, we can also spend some time outside. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It's a little bit chilly, but if you bundle up by the fire, it's always really nice to make super good memories. And then once I'm done cleaning up the space, I'm just gonna quickly dress up the table. You guys saw this tablescape or a similar tablescape last year. Um, I think it was in like my Christmas decorate with me. I decorated it similarly. I will go ahead and link that video up above if you guys wanna check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dress up the table. Before we had our little ones, I would dress up the table and leave it like this because it just looks nice and neat and organized and definitely Pinterest ready but having two little ones, it was just so not practical since this is a space that we use every single day, multiple times a day. on to our family room we actually don't currently have a designated playroom for our little ones our basement is pretty much unfinished or not totally finished and the little ones are too young to play unattended so this is definitely our multi-use space we have all of the baby's toys here all the toddler's toys and this is where we also watch tv as you guys can see there's some football on because well football is always playing in my house uh, and i'm just gonna go ahead real quick and clean up the kids toys make the space look a little bit more inviting um, my kids took some toys up that were stored in the basement. That's why there's just so many toys here, but I'm hoping to clear this out or at least store some toys away for the holiday season coming up. We always get so many toys, so many activities. We're definitely trying to plan on some more practical toys or gifts for our little ones this year. Um, I'm in the middle of shopping for that, so that's super exciting. I'm just trying to limit the amount of toys that my children get. As you guys can see, there's just so many already. And what we like to do is we like to transfer out toys. So I'll take toys that the ones are no longer playing with, put them in the basement, store them away. And a couple months later, when they get bored of the toys that they have up here, I will just rotate out the toys. I feel like that is super efficient. And having two older boys as well, a lot of their good quality toys or toys that we know will be popular for my toddler, we just store them away and then pull them out when it's age appropriate for him. So that also saves us on money. It also saves us on repurchasing items or throwing away items. And if we know it's something that um, is broken, obviously we'll throw it away. Or if it's something that he's not gonna play with, then we like to donate those to friends and family.
now that the house is clean and the little ones are still asleep, it's time to get some meal prepping on. When hosting a dinner or a dinner party or any kind of event in my house, I like to be able to prep as much as I can before the guests arrive. This way I can get that done and I actually can sit down, and enjoy a glass of wine or something with them and hang out. Obviously there's some stuff that you have to get done right before the meal. This way, if I can at least chop up all my vegetables, peel my potatoes, get them ready for boiling so that I can boil them and then mash them like for a meal like this, then I can do that ahead of time and I'll get the rest of it done later. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this style video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. That will let me know to create these more often for you guys. I always strive to create content that you guys enjoy. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Six, six,